Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Last time we left off, we were about to take on the Psychic Gym, and we lost Skullbreaker, the Primate. It was pretty stupid what happened, but I did choose Hitmonchan from that prize, because he is bulkier, and, you know, why would I want to Hitmonlee after Hitmonlee just killed one of my teammates? No, I don't like their kind anymore. So, um, Hitmonchan is not on my team right now, since this is the Psychic Gym, but I just want to show you what we got so far. Aqua Unicorn, Flappy, Snowball, Super Soaker. I didn't really do a whole lot off camera. All I did was, uh, get, uh, this Lapras named Aqua Unicorn. Um, what the heck? And for some reason... Okay, no, my keyboard wasn't working for a second there. Alright, there we go. Um, summary, it's to check out his moves and stats. Not too great, but not too bad. Ice Beam, Body Slam, Confuse Rain, Perish Song. I just wish I had a water attack or something, but uh, this will do for now. And as you can see here, his stats got a lot of health. Its defenses are pretty alright. Its special attack's pretty good, but other than that, it's not really anything special. It's got Water Absorb, which I guess is okay, but I'm pretty sure it could have a better ability than that. So that's what's going to lead our team into this battle. Well, into these next series of battles. You'll probably get to see Hitmonchan in the next episode or something, just depending on when we beat this gym, because I'm definitely not going to use a fighting type in here. Did I battle this guy? Probably did. Alright, let's try this. Basically, I'm just going to wander around here until I find the gym leader. And I don't know how I'm going to replicate that, but basically I want to also battle every trainer I find in here, because why not? General Amanda sent out Ghastly, and we're going to send out a Unicorn here, so we do have a few levels on this Ghastly, which is good. But here's the problem. Ice Beam only has 10 PP. And, oh, ooh, oh. Okay, that's not good. I better not one-shot this thing. Because this could be really bad. Okay, um, don't one-shot it. Oh, no. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Why? That's not even fair. That is not even fair. Oh, man. That is not even fair. I don't even know how to react to what just happened. I swear to God, if you do that again, I will kill you. Not just in-game. I will find you in real life and murder you. Okay. Um. Okay, good. He's not using Destiny Bond. Very helpful there. Um, Confuse Ray is going to be a little annoying, but let's just chance to go for another thief. Iron right, Flap, you got this. Nope, apparently you don't got this. I believed in you. Okay, he's using Confuse Ray again like a freaking idiot. See, these people don't even know what they're doing. They're just using random moves, and turns out one of them worked. That's just wrong, is what it is. It really... Like, that should not count. It does, but it, it shouldn't. I literally lost because of a speed disadvantage. Totally unfair. Alright, let's uh, battle this person, I guess. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. Alright, well, first of all... Alright, here we go. We're gonna set out Flappy here. And take a good look at me right there. And now let's take a good look at Flappy. I don't think Flappy took on my appearance at all. That looks like a bird, and I look like a person. I mean, yeah, maybe this other trainer I'm battling is just as ugly as that Haunter, but that doesn't mean anything. Other than that person needs a face changeover. Alright. Um, basically, this battle is going pretty much the same as the last half of the last battle we just had. Alright, so let's use Thief. Hopefully we'll hit this time. We will not. They'll use Confuse Ray again because they're idiots. Oh my gosh. And I'll snap out of Confusion and... <laughs> wow. Deja Vu or what? I mean, seriously. It's like exactly the same thing. The only difference here is I'm going to level up after this. And I think I got slightly more experience this time. It may have been a higher level Haunter. Either way, that's kind of pathetic. I knew it. You didn't know anything, you freak. Freak head. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, dang it. Not at the gym leader yet. Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for training psychics. You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. If you could tell me where to go, that would be nice, because this teleport stuff isn't... Re it's not really a puzzle, it's just a guessing game. Alright, you got a Slowbro. A Slowbro would be a beast to have on the team, but we're just going to thief it. 
He'll probably take three hits. Or maybe even four. Wow. I knew for sure. Okay. And that's going to raise its special defense, so... Best not even to bother using Thief anymore. Let's just go for an Aerial Ace. If we get stabbed, it'll probably do more damage than that. Unless that's a special attack somehow. Which I really don't think it is. Let's... Whoops. Did not mean to do that, actually. My keyboard is, like, broken or something. I don't know why. Alright. Here's how to find out if flying is physical or special. If it's special, this won't kill it. If it's physical, it will kill it. I think it's physical. Okay, good. It is. I mean, types were messed up back then. That's why I can't wait to get out of Gen 3. Arg. Okay, this guy's a pirate, too. He's a psychic pirate. That's kind of a formidable com combination, if I do say so myself. Um, did I battle this person yet? Yes, I did. I don't remember how I got here. Let's try this one. Alright, this is the same guy. So, let's try this corner over here. Oh yeah, this is what I needed. Okay. So I'm just gonna go straight into this battle. I will heal up, obviously. Uh, go Flappy. Alright, this is gonna be tough. This is going to be really tough. I think we could do it, but it is going to be really tough. Okay, let's see what else we got. Anything that's gonna help us. Doesn't really look like it. I don't want to use that elixir yet. I have enough thieves to at least make it worthwhile. Okay. And let's just hope she doesn't have six Pokemon. Um, I, she shouldn't, though. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. I don't care about your powers at all. Just give me your dang badge, you know? If you don't like battling, just step aside and give me the badge. Alright. Four Pokemon opens with a Kadabra. This is already scary. If it knows Thunderbolt, Flappy's done for, but I have Thief. This may be able to take it out in one hit. Kadabras are pretty squishy. Okay. Did not. And it's gonna raise the physical defense, so I can keep using Thief without any kind of consequence here, so that's good. Alright, and Calm Mind. Okay, and I can take out Kadabra now because it doesn't raise speed. Oh, that would be scary if I wasn't able to take it out. And I'm not able to take it out. That's not good. Okay, Sabrina's got a Hyper Potion. Try Thief again. And once again, that much damage. I'm a little bit afraid to take an attack. But we're going to risk it. I feel that Flappy can hang on. If it uses another Calm Mind, that's kind of scary then. Okay, now I'm pretty scared. Wait, Calm Mind is raising a special defense too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright, so I kind of want Reflect to wear off, but at this point, Aerial Ace might be the better option. So, it's plus two special attack, which is what I'm afraid of. Okay, so Aerial Ace was a good option there. Alright, Mr. Mime. We will not change Pokemon, because Flappy's unharmed. Alright, Reflect wore off. Perfect. Alright, let's give it our last Thief. Hopefully it won't put up another Reflect, but that's kind of what I'm expecting. Psybeam. Okay, we'll take it. I think it should be okay. That did some damage, but I'll be fine. Let's give it an aerial ace. I think it has... Yeah, its physical defense is much weaker than its special defense. Alright, there we go. Ooh, that, that kind of hurt a little bit. Um, What do I want to do now, though? Okay, it took two to get me... Oh, and I should go first, right? Okay, that should take it out, then. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're going to gain the XP. No level up, unfortunately. Venomoth. I will not switch out this time. Just because Venomoth, this is actually a good matchup for Flappy. Um, I am going to, however, heal up. Uh, let's get our Hyper Potion going. There we go. And you know what? I'm just really happy you made it to the gym this early. Normally I'd battle every trainer, but I'm not going to just do a random guess of, you know, going to all the rooms. But anyway, let's get an Aerial Ace. This should actually one-shot it. Just about. That's pretty close enough. Alright, and since they're probably going to use a potion, I'll aerial ace again. Oh, I guess guess you only had two potions. How unfortunate for you. Alright. Let's go. Let Flappy get to level 40. Very good. Good job during this gym. Alakazam's coming out, so I am going to change Pokemon. We're going to send out Mr. Tank, Super Soaker. Alright. And Alakazam, level 43, my goodness, that's strong. Alright, um, let's give it a bite. Okay, I probably should have gone 
for protect, but I didn't want to chance it opening with, oh my goodness. I didn't want to give it, like, a chance to open with, uh, let's do protect this time. I didn't want it to open with something where it could, like, raise its defenses. I wanted to see if I could just take it out. Alright, um, I'm gonna heal up, but this is risky. Even just staying out here is risky. This thing is really powerful. Alright, Psychic. I... I might just have to potion through this. Let's see, that did... How much damage? Uh, it went from 119. Oh, dang it, I hate math. Let's go with Bite. I think we can finish it off, but it's gonna be risky. Hang in there, Super Soaker. I believe in you. You can do this. A crit. This is the story of my Nuzlocke. BS crits all the time, and just unfair things that happen that take my guys out. That was a heavy loss. And I can't say it could have potioned either, because it would have just... I would just have to keep potioning and potioning. I really, really thought I could take that, but... Crit. A crit would have killed me from full health, so whatever. <sighs> Alright. Alright, Snowball. You got this. Now, here's the thing. Snowball's special defense is terrible. Here, I'm going to uh, actually just show you real quick. Well, compared to its physical defense, its special defense is terrible. 52 versus 106. Yeah. This is going to be scary. In fact, I think... Actually, let's go for Super Soaker special defense real quick. I think it had beastly special defense. Yeah, 104. Okay, so basically this guy could probably one-shot Snowball, actually. But unfortunately, I really don't have much other choice. I mean... Man, this is bad. I know Snowball can take this thing out, no problem. Oh, man. Well, only one way to find out. I have a feeling Snowball's going down, though. Another crit! I probably would have lived through a regular attack. This is bad. This is bad. Alright, Flappy, at least you have a chance of outspeeding it. I think what I'm gonna do is go for the quick attack. That way I know I go first, but I wanna compare the uh, stats real quick. The attack stats of those two. Of my two options that I got. No, summary. Dang it. I wanna check your moves. Alright, um. Alright, so Quick Attack is going to do 40, whereas Aerial Ace does a little bit more damage. He can't be evaded, but I gotta be sure I'm going first. What's my speed? 89, that's pretty good. I wanna check the speed of everyone else. Particularly Blastoise, actually. 67. Okay, this is... See, I'm not... I think I could take it out with Quick Attack because I'll get Stab, and it does a decent amount of damage compared to this guy's really bad defenses. Whereas Aerial Ace, I am like completely positive that will take it out, but I might not go first. Alkazam's pretty fast and outlevels me. I think the safe move here is Quick Attack, but I'm not sure. Let's go for it. Oh gosh, no. This could be it. Oh my gosh. Flappy, you are a beast. Quick attack. Flappy took that hit like a champ, man. But we lost our two best Pokemon in this freaking gym battle. I was a little underleveled compared to her Alkazam. Everything else was fine. <sighs> yeah, shut up, Sabrina. You suck. Give me your crappy TM, I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute. Is that the TM for Psychic? Or is that just Calm Mind? It's probably just Calm Mind. Yep, just Calm Mind. Pretty bad. I mean, not really terrible, but Psychic would have been better, obviously. Let's get out of here. Oh, and of course, you can't just teleport me to the freaking... Wait a minute, was there anything down there to teleport me to the... Here, you know what, I'm gonna go back, because I think there may have been something to teleport me to the entrance of the gym. 
Or... No, you have to do the puzzle backwards. What a jerk. Sabrina, you are my least favorite person in the world right now. Oh, man. My team is in shambles. It, it's like literally... I don't know how to get out of here either, so I'm just gonna keep going around. Oh, actually, no. I know from here we go to this one. There we go. Okay. Yeah, my team's in shambles. I have half of it left. Actually, a little bit more than half, but uh, still, it's not looking good. I am underleveled severely, as I can now tell. I thought I might be a little overleveled, but no, these guys are really tough. So I remember the first Elite Four members had, you know, Pokemon that were around her Alkazam's level, so, um... Aqua Unicorn... You're dead. Snowball... You're dead. And... Super Soaker... You're dead. Let's see, I need... no. Let's take, my, take the item from, uh... Oh, you can't take items from in the PC, so... Oh, this is stupid. Fix your PC game. Pokemon. Reggie. It's Reggie's fault, guys. Alright, I'm gonna take the item away, though. Because no... You know, I gotta hang out of that. Alright. Move our Pokemon. Here we go. Finally. <laughs> Come on. Dang third-gen games. You and your weird quirks. Alright. So we have Aqua Unicorn. Didn't really spell your name right, but I tried. Let's see. I can't really say much about you other than... You know, raising you wasn't that bad, so... You know, that's a plus. You KO'd the only Pokemon you faced. But unfortunately, it was a cheap son of a... I... I don't know. And it used a Destiny Bond. That's a pretty harsh way to go. So, you know, not your fault. I think you would have been a great Pokemon. You're tanky and all that, but you're gonna have to go. So, goodbye, and thank you for being my Pokemon. Alright, here we have Snowball. Snowball, you were pretty dang awesome. In fact, you were the ace general of the team. You had the ability to, like, tank almost anything, and you could pretty much KO any Pokemon I sent you out against. You really helped me out getting this far. I would have not been this far without you. But, um, yeah. It turned out that your special defense, being your only, you know, physical weakness, was your complete and utter downfall, so... It really pains me to lose you, but I have to lose you. You are a great Pokemon, and I will never forget Snowball. Goodbye, my friend. And last but not least, Super Soaker. We were literally together since the very beginning of the game. You helped me get all those other Pokemon raised. Without you, Flappy would be no more. With without you, Swiss would have never been what it is. We never would have beaten the first gym. So, you are solely responsible for where I am today. And they say that starters never make it through Nuzlocks. I wanted to prove them wrong, but unfortunately I couldn't. That dang Alkazam crit ya. It shouldn't have happened. You had it on the ropes. You took out half its health in one bite. And I thought for sure you were going to finish it off. But unfortunately, you are no longer with me. I'm going to have to say goodbye to you. See you later, Blastoise. Alright. Alright, so they're all done. So, here I have the Hitmonchan trained up and everything. So that's good, right? But check it out. Level 43. The only problem is it would have been one shot too, because it's fighting type. Got Its name is Little Mac after, you know, everyone loves middle... Little... I can't even say anything. Little Mac, everyone's favorite fighter. Well, boxer. Um, we'll check his stats out later. I guess we're going to have to call on... Ghastly over here. And Firo. Oh my gosh, this is bad. I have no other Pokemon to choose from, so I'm gonna really start a having to catch stuff. There's a Snorlax somewhere. 
I might be able to catch that now, actually, but let's heal up the rest of our guys. Just get things switched around a little bit. I'll have to do some more work off camera, but unfortunately, just with how busy I've been, like, I was barely able to train two Pokemon, but, um... Anyway, um... Here we go. I just want to show you guys a little Max so uh, summary. Um, he's pretty dang good. Let's check out his stats. Four out of six stats are in the hundreds, which is pretty good. The only downfall is being a special attack, which he doesn't really have anyway, and his speed. Unless... Oh gosh. You know, I'm about to show his moveset, but I have a feeling that it's all going to be terrible. Because... Well, here we go. Sky Uppercut, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch. You know, generally that's a great moveset for Hitmonchan, but now that I think about it, this might be a special attack just because it's fire. This might be a special attack just because it's ice. And this might be a special attack just because it's electric. I know for a fact fighting is a physical attack, this Sky Uppercut right here. But if that's the case, this is a real problem because this moveset's gonna suck. I mean, just his severely low special attack makes those three moves useless, and I gotta say, I got rid of a few decent moves for those, so... Little Mac, I love you, but Generation 3 does not love you. Generation 3 hates you. If, and I'm pretty sure that's the case, unless they made, you know, special exceptions for those punching moves. I'm gonna check some TMs, but before I actually teach any to him, I just kinda wanna... Make sure that, okay, so we probably can't learn. Oh, we can learn Brick Break for sure, but that's another fighting type attack we don't need. I could probably teach him Rock Tube, which would actually get rid of his, um, well, it would help type coverage flying, although. I might do that now, actually. Well, I won't do that now, because I don't plan on using him this episode much, if at all. So, Rock Tube might be something I do. Um. But yeah, if any of you guys are f really familiar with the, you know, the really messed up moves that Gen 3 had, I can't say Gen 1 and 2 didn't have them, but, you know, they didn't fix it till Gen 4. If you guys are familiar with that, let me know if those punches are physical or special. I have a feeling they're special, in which case I'll just teach them Rock Tomb, but... Yeah, other than that, we're gonna have to wait for them to level up to learn more moves. Um, alright. Let's switch Flappy with Salad Head and Salad Head with Snake. Our team is not looking very great right now, but, you know, um, Captain Falcon and Phantom also not really planning on using much anymore this episode just because they're really weak. I gotta train them up. And Flappy, I have something for you. Let's give you... And if I can find them here... Oh, uh, yes, here they are. Super Soakers, Sunglasses. You are now the guy... Really, you just have a dark type move, but, um, you know, I try to make something symbolic out of that, but really it's just because he has Thief still. Other than that, I'm pretty sure Little Mac is probably going to be our ace, maybe our general, but for now I think we can at least upgrade Flappy to the general. But, you know, they got to prove themselves. Saladhead's pretty good too. Snake, I don't really know. But, um, let's go see if I can find that Snorlax. I don't remember where it is. Here, let's check the map. Alright. Map. Use. Okay, so the Snorlax is, if I can remember, and I don't. I have no idea at all where he is. I think he's like out this way somewhere. Yeah, if I go south from Lavender Town, I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, because then there's. Oh, yeah, the Snorlax is right here, pretty much. Because I remember he was near Vermilion and Lavender, and he's gotta be here because our next stop is Fuchsia City, I believe. Yeah, for the 7th badge, and then the 8th badge. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. This is, We just got the 5th badge. This would be 6th. This would be 7th on Cinnabar Island, and the 8th badge would be up here in uh, Viridian City. Alright, so let's make our way over there, then. The best way would probably just be go from Lavender Town, but I'm not sure. And I don't know if I've battled any of the trainers along the way. I think I may have. And I also gotta... Actually, let's... Real quick, I want to... I have to catch the Snorlax, pretty much, and I don't have any Ultra Balls. I'm going back to the mark. Dang it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, all over the place right now, but I just... It's hard to concentrate when two of your best Pokemon in the freaking world die. This was a rough episode. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, let's go for... 
I'm gonna go for the department store and see if they have anything there. I think that's my best bet if I'm ever gonna find Ultra Balls anywhere. Because that's kind of the latest area I've been to in a way. Uh, it's the department store. You'd think they would have it. So let's check. Let's hope they do. I definitely need Ultra Balls though, and I don't really have a lot of money, which is also unfortunate. Actually, to go check the stupid memo thing and I can't run indoors. Where is service count? Okay, trainer's market is second floor. So I don't need to use the elevator. So to make sure. Alright, what do you guys got for me? Oh, I actually have a decent amount of money. Alright, so... Oh, these are just TMs. I don't want your crappy TMs. It's a trainer's store. This should not be TMs. Wait. Well, we only have great balls, unfortunately. No ultra balls. Well, I'll buy a ton of these then. Um, let's see. I have two on me. Let's make that... 18, because, well, I was going to make it 20, you know, have it even, but 18 should be good enough. And if it's not, well, I'm in trouble. I have a Master Ball, but I really don't want to use it in a Snorlax. And the reason I want to get a uh, Snorlax is because it's going to be really, really good on the team. Uh, you know, for its bulk, it's a normal type, which is a really solid type. Very underrated, in my opinion. I mean, think about it. It's only weak to fighting, and it's got a few good immunities, like for Ghost and, um... Actually, that's, that's really it. It's only really immune to Ghost. Okay, so now, on to Snorlax. That's probably how we'll finish the episode off, depending on what time we have when we get there. Actually, this is gonna take a while to, um... to catch this guy. And, okay, let's go south to Lavender Town. At least that's what I'm thinking, because he's bulky. He's got moves that he, he can heal himself with, which is you know, really bad for me. Obvi Wait a minute. Is there anyone up here? Like a Professor Oak aide or something? No, there isn't. I remember there were aides in here that would give you stuff, and I need, like, an experience share that would be great for uh, training the team up. I don't have one of those. And it makes it a lot harder. Okay, I'm not going to battle any... You jerk. Let's go back to your fishing, you... Oh, man. Well, this is gonna be annoying. Only slightly annoying, though, because it's, you know, really low-level Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, Intimidate, whatever. Alright, let's, um... Let's just go for Poison Sting, I guess. Actually, no, that's really weak. I'm just gonna go for Bite. You know, giving Snake over here these glasses might not be a bad idea. I don't know whose special attack is better, though. Snake or, um, Flappy. But anyway, we're gonna try for Bites. Obviously, that's gonna do a lot more in Poison Sting. Another Poliwag, okay. Basically, this guy's gotta get out of my way because I wanna end the freaking episode. Yeah, if there was any chance that we were gonna catch the Rocks episode, this guy, Fisherman Ned, or whatever his name is, he single-handedly erased it, so... Hashtag Blame Fisherman Ned. Um, I doubt we could get that trending, but you never know. You never know. Not that I really encourage that. I'm not going to tweet that out. That's a waste. Alright, anyway. He's done with. Over. Goodbye. You fail. You should have never battled me in the first place. Not in the mood. Alright, this guy, I'm going to... Wait till he turns around. Haha, -ha, snuck past him. Alright, that guy might be a little hard to... Juke out. Let's. Okay, we got past him that way. Aha! He thought he could outsmart me. Oh no, that guy at the last second turn. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if it was. Uh, shut up. I should just. Why can't I just push these guys into the water? I mean, seriously. They're in my way. I want to get to Snorlax. They're obviously wastes of time. You know, they'll be good for training up the little guys, but. Other than that, you know, I, and I don't have time for that right now, because that's very finicky, you gotta use, like, well, normally I'd use potions, well, actually, normally off-camera I'd go to the Pokemon Center, as to not waste potions, because, you know, not on camera, I don't really have time to constraints for a video or anything, so, yeah, but for now, we'll just train up Snake over here, he could use the levels too, I mean, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I, these would be perfect for, like, Captain Falcon or whatever, who's, like, level 25. Alright, yep, bite. Good, one-shot it. We get the point game. 
Yeah, Reggie really made me mad today. He, in case you don't know, he's obviously the one that's completely behind all the Pokemon stuff. It has everything to do with it. So if anything ever goes wrong in any Pokemon game, hashtag blame Reggie. It's always Reggie's fault. Okay, anyway. That should be the last of them. Okay, there's a double battle there, and here's Snorlax. He's gonna be our catch. We're not gonna use the Poke Flute yet, but he's gonna be our catch. I'm gonna save the game here. Wow, 19 hours exactly now. That's a lot of time I poured into the save file. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me for today. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the episode despite what has happened. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.